So, hello good people. Today imekuwa siku yenye ambayo we need to talk about it and uh, we need to discuss about it because we started it, let us finish it. Regardless of the challenge that we have been going through, we will have to finish up this process. It's all about the judiciary vehicles and how the sale has gone and how the auction has taken place. So, this episode, I'll be showing you some of the videos as I was going to the auction, then some of the videos on the yard and some of the vehicles. Plus, I'll give you the information about uh, some buyers who did not want to be on camera uh, for privacy reasons, but they gave their views about the auction and how maybe they have been uh, satisfied and others have been uh, frustrated. So, ilibidi nitoke hapa mpaka wabi milimani lockout. So, let's see what went down. So today is the auction day um, judiciary, which is led by... Uh, His Excellency Mother Gomez, the CJ. So we are going to see what will be happening there because the auction is starting around 10. Now it is 10, that means um, it is a because they are auctioning 25 vehicles. And if you have been following up on this one, we have uploaded the hard part of the auction. Then we have also uploaded the vehicles on which one, on the categories of vehicles being uh, sold because pale kukona Mercedes Benz. Kuko na Volkswagen Passat, kuko na Nissan X Trail, kuko na Land Rover, kuna Land Rover Discovery. So among all these vehicles, uh, they will be sold at different prices. At the same time, these vehicles have a different reserve price. Sawa sawa. So. We are expecting different individuals to come there by. At the same time, we would like to know what the price will be. In the event, we will get access to the entry. Because pala unasikia, deposit ya kupata your bidding number ni 100,000 Kenya shillings. Sawa sawa. So, this is Pamrek Show. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, consider to subscribe because subscription helps us sana sana. Na pia like video, inasaidia sana. And wacha nikimbia hapo, then we will see what happens next. We jam imekuwa kisirani Mombasa Road, so I don't have any idea. And imetoka mapema, I've spent almost one hour. Kutoka hapa kapa, mpaka kabana za kupitiki. So, bala nimeingililia sama ya hapa SGR. Kufika huku ndani. To me finyana, yani. <laughs> Wa Kenya to attack a shortcut. Kumbu na dani uko peke ako kwa shortcut kwa shortcut. Uki kujo na pata wengi ne mume fungiana bara bara. So ah, is it you in Tafika Milimani Lockout Sangapi? It's almost nine thirty, and uh, auction is starting at ten. So it's very unfortunate. I nilavile ni me toka mapema seven thirty niligo ako bara bara. Hoping within. 30 minutes hata ningeingililia na expressway but najiambia acha nipita pita kidogo nifike pale mbele ndio nisilipe pesa mingi we ningejua ningeichukulia tu huko sio kimao ni kuja straight anyway challenges za dunia na kawaida so ndio huyo mimi nimefika sasa hapa kwa yard but i need to go mpaka ceremonial hall i'm late Nimefika saa ngapi? Karibu saa tano and auction was starting at uh, saa nne. Ye jamu imenibeba kunibeba but it's never late. We will ask around and see whether we will have uh, any help. At the same time, hizi mbagari nizo zilikuwa zina auctioniwa. Ziko hapa nyuma yangu hizo zote na huko kuingine. So hapa niko ya di um, judiciary. Hapa milimani lockout. So in short, Waja tueleke hapa ceremonial hall tuone kama tutapata any assistance ama kama tuta oji mmoja wa, 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 wa nunuzi tuone kama they have anything good to offer and the pricing of these vehicles. Now, after, after 
hiyo jam nini mambo yake achana na jam tulifika paka pale milimani lockout then um i trying to get in with my equipment because i arrived late as a result of the traffic jam that was there along Mombasa road but uh, eventually all that is important in this case is to know the pricing of the vehicles and how they were sold sasa kama ukiangalia e tuanze na e mercedes benz c s S class S class 350 it equal lot 1 igari muliona ilikuwa reserved 2 million Kenya shillings uh, being reserved at that amount this vehicle was sold at 2 million and 20000 so that means the auctioneer sold it at iliongeza to 20000 a little bit fair but compared the condition of this vehicle in itaji no skirt in itaji bonnet ya mbere suspension unaona vile zimianguka chini yani unless uh, you are an awesome individual or who understand the S class version and knows where you can get all these spare parts and the cost of this vehicle then you will need to be very careful however the reserve price was too way high considering uh, the, the the duty of this vehicle so ilienda na iliongezea tu 20000 now let's come to lot 2 to lot 5 uh, lot 2 to lot 4 uh, uh, to lot 5 zilikuwa mercedes c class na e class so hizi c class zilikuwa is, is, is reserved at 400000 kuna hii uh, c200 ilikuwa reserved 400000 hiyo iliuzwa uh, iliongezea tu 50k hii nyingine ikaongeza ikafika 600,000 lot 3 lot 4 ikafika 460,000 so comparing the reserve price when you are hizi magari hawako push easy prices sana sana so let's see hii Land Rover Discovery ilikuwa na watu wengi ikaleta mpaka chaos wakasema irudiwe hmm? ilifika karibu 500 hii ya red mnaona hapa was reserved at 150000 based na information yenye napata pale kwa hall ilibidi wasukumane wavurugane lakini ikabidi irudiwe hiyo bid na and this vehicle was later sold at 160000 so it was a reasonable sale compared to the 500000 that these guys had pushed it to be so iliongezea to 10000 so that is a fair deal Then kukona e a lot uh, lot gani lot 7 uh, which was a Mercedes E class was reserved at 425000 and this one sold at 560000 then kuna Pujot is Pujot azikwa na mashabiki is Pujot mashabiki zake hakuna yani alikuwa na expect kuchukua hizi gari so zingine azijauzwa especially kama lot 9 na lot 10 eh uh, reserved at 90000 and another one reserved at 165000 as it was as of auction time but we all know that these vehicles eventually always get sold later after the auction so um is a project hakuna mwenye alichukua and uh, we don't know what was the price that they were sold later now let's come to lot 11 mercedes e class 200 Uh, it was a 600,000. Hii gari ilitoka kutoka 375,000 was it was the reserve price for this vehicle and it was sold at 600,000. Nataka ku rush ndio uh, niweze ku kukua clear na niwaelezee what are the events that happened at the auction. Uh, gari nyingine ya muhimu sana yenye mgependa kujua Um, hmm. kuna hii lot 14 lot 13 na 14 azikuenda sana kama lot uh, 14 Mercedes E class E class was reserved at 262000 e gari unajua imeuzwa pesa ngapi iliongeza to 5000 so iliuzwa 267000 This is a fair deal it's a no sum deal and um, comparing the selling price and the reserve price that means uh, ni kama competition haikuwa mengi pale but selling it at uh, 267 na kuongeza hiyo 5000 peke yake that's a fair deal and uh, we recommend that to be awesome now kuna e grand tiger double cab four wheel drive eh? ilikuwa next na hii 
Land Rover 110 yenye imegonga gongo ikaisha kabisa nitaonyesha their cross images and how they look and if you haven't watched the, my previous video inaonyesha in details about the two the, the, the two vehicles and how they look so hapa nitakupea tu image ya haraka haraka ama ka video kadogo tu now hii hii Grand Tiger double cab ya white ilikuwa reserved at the 7500 shillings being reserved at that amount this vehicle sold at 50000 we huyu ataende apime hii kitu kilo yani amue hii kitu anakula tu anakula tu wait then this the person who takes this home is in business awesome awesome let's go to lot uh, 16 to lot 25 and see how these vehicles were sold aha uh -huh. now There is a funny thing that happened here because uh, we have lot 17 to lot 20 nobody bidded for this vehicle nobody was interested with this vehicle nazo ni gari gani Volkswagen Passat Volkswagen Passat lot 17 hakuna mtu alishughulika nayo Volkswagen Passat lot 18 lot 19 na lot 20 they were not sold as of auction time What does that mean and that, what does that tell you? That tells you that uh, people were afraid of uh, the, the condition of these vehicles and how they really looked, especially their outer layers. And, um, a whole hover of the body, uh, no skirt in it, the engine in it, the engine gearbox is in good condition. Ujui, uh, kuna suspension zingine, yani zimeisha kuisha and uh, wheels zingine zimbampa ya nyuma wapi yani when you see you calculate all the cost of this vehicle to revive it it's going to take around a billion kenya shillings na hiyo gari unajua ukitoka hapa nje utaipata tu na bei rahisi so that's why most of the people who are immediate bidders today avoided bidding for this vehicle so ziliacho pale but Simonajua vitu kwa za Kenya. So hii gari najua eventually ziliuzwa. So hatuta itetea ati kuenda but ni vile wakati wa auction azikuchukuliwa. Gari nyingine very interesting yenye mnafaa kujua how it was sold is a Land Rover 110. Hii gari ilikuwa reserved 22,000 being reserved at 22,000 how much was it sold this uh, this vehicle it drew a lot of attention watu wakatoka kutoka meru wakatoka kutoka embu wakatoka kutoka mombasa ukuja kubid this land rover land rover defender 110 Eh, yeah? hey, siji wanaona nini but hii gari ilipata accident ikiwa in good condition na ikiwa mpya mpya so weka hizo maspia engine yake nini nini ikukosa hata 500,000 then you have a vehicle worth around 3 million Kenya shillings so from 22000 this uh, Land Rover it was sold at 100,000 Kenya shillings so reasonable and uh, comparing the rate ya Land Rover na uh, reputation ya Land Rover that means whoever took this vehicle had a good deal now let's rush to lot 22 lot 22 Ah uh, ilikuwa Mercedes E-Class. Hizi E-Class hazikuenda na bei mingi because ilinunuliwa na mtu mmoja. Ndiye alienda nazo karibu zote. So alikuwa anazibai na around 600,000 and akupita hapo. So hii E-Class lot 22 ilikuwa reserved at 7,000 and it was sold at 600,000. Okay? Awesome. Now we have this Nissan X-Trail. Nissan X-Trail was reserved 225,000 and his vehicle was sold at, at uh, 450,000. I need to confirm that. I'm not sure how much this vehicle was sold. I'll give the clear uh, selling price of the vehicle up on the description. Now, lot 25, the final uh, vehicle and the final vehicle and the final bid for this auction was Volkswagen Passat hii imechukuliwa na madam from Meru wamekimbi sana kabisa wakashukumana hii ikabiwa ipewe mama eh? ipewe madam and eventually she was able to get this vehicle it was reserved at 150000 and it was later sold at 220000 igari 
Saidi ya nyuma iko in good shape ni kuweka mbetri kugurumisha but inahitaji uh, bumper ya mbele no skirt mzima inahitaji pia bonnet kama itakuwa able to be repaired well inakuwa ni ngori sana so some of these vehicles zingine watu waliweza kuzitest test pale na wakaona ziko in good shape in good condition and wengine ni kukuja tu naweka bet mpya unaenda na gari yako so this auction and kama imekuwa na drama zake i am very happy to announce to you that so many people have been able to get vehicles courtesy of pamrick show so i feel proud of myself and i believe that as we go on people will really appreciate uh, the effort that we do and be able to get uh, allowed to cover this event because pale judiciary auction na group ingine kama walikuwa ni kama ni jamu ni nisaidia eh ni labda walikuwa wamekipanga kinoma kinoma so god's timing is different and his plans are different so nili arrive nili arrive pale late and uh, i could not be able to kubishana na wao hiyo drama yote and thank god nothing ma, nothing bad happened but the auction was a success at kama we have so many people who are very dissatisfied with how it was conducted from this end i really thank you so much and appreciate your support to this end kamoja subscribe to this channel please consider to hit that subscription button ndio uweze kutufikisha at least 22000 to nafik to share hit 21000 so tunaangalia kufika 22 twende mpaka 100000 meanwhile we are watching pamrick show and my name is patrick motuma until next time God bless.